Hi, welcome to this new series of digital circuits by Top Notch Tutorials. Next thing which we are going to consider is transistor as a switch. Now let us consider an NPN transistor. This is the emitter, this is the base, this is the collector. We will consider a common emitter configuration wherein the emitter side will be grounded. We will complete the circuit by adding a resistor at collector side, VCCS supply voltage and a base resistor. Done. Let us consider our input voltage V in and our output voltage V out. So, we can consider the output side as VCC is equal to V out plus IC RC. Now, the voltage VCC which we can see over here is equal to output voltage which is basically the voltage across the transistor VCE that is plus the ICRC the voltage drop across this resistance so this is the basic output e output side equation which we get now let us consider VN as logic 0 now when Vn is logic 0, that is 0 volts, the input side, there is no current flowing through the input side. As a result, there obviously will not be any collector current at the output side. So the transistor is in cutoff. When Vn is 0, the transistor is in cutoff. So let us measure the voltage at V out. So what will happen is, IC will naturally be 0 and this complete term will turn out to be 0. So our V out will be equal to VCC which can be interpreted as logic 1. So when my input logic is 0 my output is logic 1. Now let us consider input logic level to be high that is 5 volts or VCC we can say okay so, RC. this is our original equation now when we apply VCC there will be some current flow at the base side let's say that current is IV this IV current flow will make IC flow at the output side and this IC will in turn create a voltage drop ICRC at the output. So my V out will be VCC minus ICRC. Taking ICRC on other side, the equation turns out to be V out is equal to VCC minus ICRC. Now if this ICRC is very close to VCC then this difference is going to be very closer to zero which is what we expect like when our input logic is very high our all output logic will approach logic low and in this way our transistor acts as a switch and that too also an inverter so this is a very important point if you will consider during uh, designing of various other gates like NOT gate, AND gate, NAND gate that inverter actually acts as an uh, inverter is actually made by a transistor an NPN transistor 